Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The relationship between the United States and Japan has not always been one of cooperation. Yet, following the devastating events of the Second World War, the two nations emerged as steadfast allies, shaping foreign policy throughout East Asia. Today, the United States maintains several permanent bases in Japan and regularly engages in joint training exercises and drills. It's no surprise, then, that both countries frequently exchange military technology. One of the most notable examples of advanced amphibious aviation is the Shin Meiwa US 2 seaplane, an aircraft specifically designed for remarkable short takeoff and landing, stole capabilities. This flexibility enables it to operate from an array of settings, from traditional airfields and isolated strips to open seas and inland lakes. At roughly 110 feet long, the US-2 can carry as many as 20 passengers or specialized mission equipment, making it suitable for a wide variety of tasks. Its power is delivered by four dependable Rolls-Royce AE2100J turboprop engines, each producing over 4,500 horsepower, allowing the aircraft to achieve speeds approaching 350 miles per hour. Equally remarkable is its ability to fly safely at extremely low speeds with a stall speed of only about 56 miles per hour. This slow flight capability is essential for executing precision landings in turbulent waters and hovering over rescue zones during demanding sea conditions. The US-2's primary function is air to sea search and rescue with the ability to land in waves up to 10 feet high, often the deciding factor between life and death. Its versatility, however, extends far beyond rescue operations. Both Japanese and US forces recognize the aircraft's value for maritime patrol, long-range reconnaissance, firefighting from the air, and swift cargo delivery to remote island locations. Shin Meiwa, a Japanese manufacturer, introduced the US 2-inch March 2007. It serves mainly with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, and to date, only eight units have been produced. That number may grow significantly, given interest from the US, India, and other nations. While the United States has little history of operating seaplanes, the US-2 offers tremendous promise. With a maximum takeoff weight of 100,000 pounds and the capability to function in 10-foot waves, it could greatly enhance U.S. operational reach in the Pacific. American military planners no doubt also value its impressive 2,800-mile range and ability to remain airborne for more than 10 hours without refueling. Because of this potential, U.S. pilots and navigators have already begun training alongside Japanese counterparts to learn how to maximize the aircraft's performance. 
These personnel, part of the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command, are working directly with Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force crews in Iwakuni, Japan, to master proper operation of the U.S. II. Training topics include the use of specialized smoke marker buoys, which signal nearby vessels and aircraft about hazards or individuals in need of rescue. Should the U.S. adopt the aircraft in the future, these trained personnel would be prepared to instruct their fellow airmen in its operation. The ability of certain aircraft to function in extreme conditions comes not just from their design, but from mission-specific equipment. A strong example is the C-130 Hercules, often sent to the Arctic where there is no established infrastructure for landings. In such environments, the aircraft is equipped with heavy-duty ski landing gear instead of its regular wheels. Positioned directly in front of the wheels, the skis help spread the aircraft's weight across a larger surface area. This configuration allows for safe takeoffs and landings on deep, freshly fallen snow, preventing the aircraft from sinking or getting stuck. The skis are especially effective on soft, unprepared surfaces, making them vital for reaching remote polar bases. Specialized teams such as the Airlift Wings Polar Camp Skiway team are responsible for installing and maintaining this gear. These experts not only fit and fine-tune the skis, but also prepare and groom snow runways, or skiways, to precise standards. Their expertise ensures aircraft like the C-130 can perform dependably in some of the world's harshest climates. In such frigid, demanding conditions, teams like the Skiway Unit operate from air bases that endure heavy snowfall. Crews remain ready with snow plows, blowers, and de-icing equipment to keep runways open for incoming and outgoing flights. This commitment to keeping aircraft operational is essential. Whether for emergency rescue, military deployments, scientific research, or supply transport. Providing these critical services is vital in all weather conditions. For regions such as the Arctic, which depend entirely on air-delivered goods, the ski-equipped LC-130 is the backbone of supply missions. Before each journey north, the aircraft and its equipment are thoroughly inspected to ensure readiness. This is paired with careful checks of weather forecasts at the destination to avoid snowstorms or other disruptions. While the plane is en route, T-1 
teams at the receiving base prepare the landing zone so that cargo arrives safely and intact. Highlighting Alaska's advanced Arctic rescue capabilities, Guardian Angels from the 212th Rescue Squadron performed a high-altitude jump from a 211th Rescue Squadron HC-130 King aircraft. Jumping from approximately 10,000 feet, the pararescue men executed precise freefall maneuvers Upon landing, they quickly transitioned to link up with an HH-60 Pavehawk helicopter from the 210th Rescue Squadron. The Pavehawk crew carried out a hoist extraction, lifting the Guardian Angels into the hovering helicopter, an essential skill for rescues in isolated, inaccessible areas. The exercise also included tandem jumps, simulating missions where rescuers must accompany injured or incapacitated individuals. Such drills reflect the demands of real-world combat search and rescue, disaster relief, and remote medical evacuation. This training underscored the seamless coordination between the 210th 211th, and 212th Rescue Squadrons, all stationed at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson. Working together, these units form a fast response rescue team capable of operating anywhere in the world's most extreme environments. Operating helicopters like the CH-47 Chinook in Arctic conditions presents unique challenges requiring meticulous preparation well before takeoff. Given the severe climate, thorough system checks are essential. Crews begin by inspecting all major systems, ensuring the twin engines are functioning correctly. Cold temperatures can heavily affect performance, so the auxiliary power unit and heating systems receive particular attention. A key feature of Arctic Chinook operations is its tandem rotor configuration, delivering exceptional stability and lift even at high altitudes. This setup is vital for maintaining control in turbulent winds and thin air, both common in the Arctic. The design allows the helicopter to lift heavy loads without sacrificing maneuverability, making it suitable for navigating difficult terrain. In these icy environments, Chinooks are equipped with skis to spread their weight evenly over snow and ice, preventing them from sinking. Before departure, crews verify the ski attachments are secure and operational, critical for safe operations on frozen surfaces. With its rugged build and versatility, the CH-47 excels in Arctic missions, whether transporting personnel, delivering supplies, conducting rescues, or performing medevacs. Once in flight, its advanced avionics and navigation systems are invaluable for traversing the featureless white landscape. GPS and other tools guide crews when visible landmarks are scarce. 
Regular communication ensures that if weather shifts suddenly, the team can adapt quickly. Crews often describe flying the CH 47 inch the Arctic as rewarding, as its design thrives in extreme cold and high altitude conditions. From the warm waters of the Pacific to the frozen frontiers of the Arctic, the United States and Japan show how collaboration, innovation, and disciplined training can overcome even the toughest operational environments. Whether it's the Shin Meiwa US-2 skimming across open seas on a daring rescue, an LC-130 bringing vital supplies to remote polar stations, or guardian angels leaping from the sky to save lives in Alaska, these missions reflect the same steadfast dedication to readiness. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.